Va en contra de la ley, compañeros. Y tiene que rendir cuentas sobre eso. We are not hitting them with anything. We are telling what is truth by our mouth. with her life for her conviction that the United Nations Thank you very much for being here at the University of Geneva for your uh, 21st Martin Enels Award for Human Rights Defenders Ceremony, a ceremony during which you will be introduced to the work of three outstanding human rights defenders. Please welcome our host tonight, the Dean of uh, the University of Geneva, Monsieur Jean-Dominique Vesselt. Mesdames et Messieurs, la fiche du prix Enals 2014 avec laquelle vous avez été accueilli dans cet auditoire, montre symboliquement le danger qui guette à chaque instant et aux quatre coins du monde des défenseurs des droits humains, celui d'être réduit au silence, de ne pas pouvoir porter le message de celles et ceux pour lesquels ils se sont engagés. Je nous souhaite une excellente soirée, place à la cérémonie du prix Martin Hennals, et j'accueille la présidente de la Fondation et professeure à l'Université de Genève, Micheline Calmire. Bonsoir, chers amis, chers défenseurs des droits humains. Nous sommes réunis aujourd'hui pour attribuer un prix, le prix Martin Hennals, qui récompense l'engagement tout entier d'une personne en faveur des droits humains. Ils sont trois nominés. Je nomme Alexandra Anquieta, une avocate mexicaine qui lutte dans son pays pour les droits des migrants, pour les droits des travailleurs et pour ceux de la communauté indigène. Elle mène campagne en faveur des plus pauvres et des marginalisés. Je nomme Adilou Rahman Khan, avocat auprès de la Cour suprême du Bangladesh, fondateur et secrétaire de l'organisation Odikar, une organisation qui se donne pour but de mener des enquêtes approfondies et rend public les exécutions extrajudiciaires, les disparitions, les tortures, les violences faites aux femmes et aux communautés minoritaires. Je nomme Hao Chunli, une militante chinoise qui a payé de sa vie son engagement pour la liberté d'expression et de réunion et pour un meilleur accès à l'information. Ce que nous savons aujourd'hui, au XXIe siècle, c'est que le mal, ce vieux poison de l'humanité, n'a pas été éradiqué et que des êtres humains continuent de mourir de faim, que des guerres succèdent aux guerres, des groupes vous, sent, vous, vous une haine sans fin à d'autres groupes, et puis encore, on pourrait parfois penser que nous sommes revenus au temps des guerres de religion. Comme autrefois, les hommes et les femmes veulent vivre dans la paix et dans la liberté. Ils veulent subvenir aux besoins de leur famille. Ils veulent vivre sans peur. Et chaque époque doit relever ces défis qui sont toujours les mêmes. Le prix, mesdames et messieurs, cette année est attribué à Alexandra Anquieta, Le prix Martin Hennels a pour but de protéger les défenseurs des droits humains partout dans le monde, et ce, en assurant à leur action une visibilité et une publicité. Il y a urgence à soutenir et à encourager les défenseurs des droits humains. Please welcome now Mr. Abilou Raman Khan. Within your support and recognition, Odhikar and I find the strength to continue to speak up for human rights in Bangladesh and be the voice of the voiceless 
violated and members of the victim families. Bangladesh is yet to constitute as a democratic state where equality, human dignity, and social justice have been established. The people of Bangladesh know well that the prevalent fear embodied by the state orchestrated abuses of fundamental rights in no way comply with democracy or rule of law. This nomination not only encourages me to continue my work, but is also a catalyst and a boost of energy and renewed strength to the, gross, to the grassroots human rights defenders associated with Othikar. I thank you all for your solidarity and support. Also honored tonight, Chao Shunli of China, who died in China's custody this year in March after being denied medical treatment for a known health condition. Et maintenant pour donner et recevoir ce prix posthume, deux personnalités incontournables de ce prix Martin et Nans, Hans Tullin, who is chair of the jury and who was a long time chair of the Martin and Nans Foundation, et Madame Micheline Calmiré, who replaced him. Now, please step on stage to uh, give and receive this award, please. Perhaps you want to add something? C certainly. Dear friends, the jury noted with great sorrow the death in detention of Chinese human rights defender Chao Shun Li. The financial support that comes with being a nominee of the MEA will go to a special foundation planned in her name. This should help to ensure the continuing impact of her vital work. In the name of the 10 NGOs on the jury of the MEA, I solemnly ask you to stand up and give a minute not of silence this time, but of applause to celebrate her life. In the name of the Martin Ennels Foundation, I have the honor to accept the prize recognizing the tremendous engagement of Chao Chunli. This work is now recognized as one of the most meticulous and comprehensive efforts to engage with the Chinese government on human rights. When we speak of her exceptional dedication, we speak of someone who devoted everything to the cause. She focused on China's universal periodic review, the Human Rights Council mechanism to review each state's compliance with our international obligations. During the last five years of her life, she was sent to labor through re-education camps twice for a total of 27 months. On September 14th last year, she disappeared at Beijing airport while waiting for a flight to come here in Geneva. She was coming in the framework of the Human Rights Council to speak to the respect for human rights in her country. She was transferred to a hospital on February 20th, and she died there on March 40th. Unfortunately, the Martin Ennals recognition comes too late for Chao Chun Li. Nevertheless, we hope we will be able to keep alive her efforts and commitments for human rights in China, thanks to those who worked with her and will continue in her footsteps. Um, I will kindly ask our newly appointed uh, United Nations High Commissioners for Human Rights, Mr. Zaid Rad al Hussein, to come on stage. Sir? Thank you. Excellence, uh, Mesdames et Messieurs, dear friends, until we squeeze violence out of the human system altogether and replace it with reason and kindness, compassion and common sense, we will live in the long shadows of a threatened life. What is certain is no progress will ever be achieved without human rights defenders. They are the best of us, all of us, and they have a message. To all governments, we say, focus on their message. These defenders are people who know that they risk personal security. 
and even perhaps life itself. And yet they choose to resist oppression. They stand up for equality, freedom, and dignity of all human beings and do so peacefully. Their moral courage permits us the privilege of holding on to the passport we call humanity. Their message to suffering people around the world is, it does not have to be this way. No, governments may not treat people in any way they wish. States should be at the service of their people and not the other way around, and individual acts matter. Their peaceful and legitimate activities must no longer be criminalized or repressed. I am humbled uh, by our nominees. We will not forget their stories, and thank you very much for inviting me here tonight. And now to officially hand out the award, Mr. Zaid. It, it comes as no surprise to all of you that Alejandra and Teta is the winner of the 2014 Martin Emmons Award. Today, men and women human rights defenders in Mexico face daily acts of violence. In particular, women human rights defenders face a double act of repression, an army that continues to violate human rights without any control, as well as the increase of feminicides nationwide, the imposition of an economic development model that places the private property rights of a few above the common welfare and human rights of the rest perpetuates an environment of stigma and violence for men and women who demand respect for their rights. The integral defense and strengthening of community organizing efforts are the pillars of the cases that Prodesk accompanies. I extend the recognition of the Martin Ennals Award to all men and women human rights defenders in Mexico, my colleagues in Prodesk, our families, but most of all, to the collective communities and workers who struggle with dignity and build hope that another world is possible for all. To all of them, I dedicate this award. Thank you very much. To uh, conclude this ceremony, I will now ask Mrs. Sandrine Saviono, Councillor of this uh, City of Geneva, to come on stage. She's been deeply involved in the making of the ceremony. Ce prix, comme les témoignages que nous avons entendus tout au long de cette soirée, nous rappelle qu'il est indispensable de continuer à nous battre pour qu'enfin, dans le monde, chaque être humain puisse être libre de s'exprimer, de penser, d'être, de vivre, tout simplement. Madame Alejandra Aceita, la série d'actes d'agression, de mesures, d'intimidation que vous avez affrontées rappelle que les intérêts économiques représentent parfois de terribles barrages aux droits humains. Il est important que nous rendions hommage, et vous l'avez dit l'un et l'autre à votre façon, à toutes les militantes, à tous les militants des droits humains qui s'engagent à travers le monde. Beaucoup d'entre eux sont traqués, menacés, emprisonnés, parfois même tués. C'est à toutes ces héroïnes, à tous ces héros de l'ombre que nous devons penser car c'est aussi et avant tout grâce à elles, grâce à eux, que la lutte pour le respect des droits fondamentaux, pour le respect de nos droits, à toutes et tous, avance. Qu'ils en soient ici sincèrement remerciés. <applaudissements>